Finally, Link has come back to his channel. So, today we are doing a little unboxing of this. The Starlink Starter Pack for Switch. Um, it went on sale on Argos for £10.99. And although it's been out for ages, I really want the R-Wing model. So I bought it more for that than I did the game. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unbox now. And then I'll record a review of what I think the game's like. Edit it all together. So, let's get it open. It's weird to get it open. It's super hot. Right. I was struggling to open the little poppy bits. It's a weird box. It's got like a sleeve that like slides over the Starlink box. Whether that is just the general Starlink box that all the other consoles ones come in as well. And then you just get this bit which is just for Switch which goes over the top. I think it is because that's got like Fox McCloud and all the R wings and stuff on the back. So I think that just slides over the top. Um, but like I say, the game... I'm not super worried about I used to love Star Fox games as a kid, but this hasn't got very good reviews. But, the product as a whole I am interested in, because I want the R-Wing model. It's massive. It was £10.99, so it's well worth that. So, start with the easy bit. Starlink Battle for Atlas game. Uh, I'm going to go play that a little bit and then tell you what I think about it. It looks quite good. Kind of. Don't need that desperately. You get a game artwork poster, which could go behind me somewhere, maybe. Um, depends how important. Yeah, no, it's not going behind me. Because, look, you get this big poster, which is all the characters and stuff, but I'm only interested in Fox and the R-Wing. I'm not interested in any of the other characters, I don't believe. Nope. And on this side, you get a little bit of R-Wing and a little bit of Fox. But it's not really a big R-Wing poster. I'm into the Nintendo stuff, so I don't need that either. So, first thing I'm going to get out is this, which is your Joy-Con mount. So that, you clip your Joy-Cons in here and here. Not my Joy-Con, so I can show you it put together properly. So, they slide... I'm trying to do it so you can see it on camera as well. They slide down there like they do in the regular Joy-Con grip. One thing I will say about this is, it's about £15 to buy a Joy-Con grip. So, if you desperately wanted a second Joy-Con grip, it would be worth buying the game for the grip, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's not as good as a Joy-Con grip, but when you think it's £4 cheaper than the Joy-Con grip and it's still an official sort of Nintendo licensed piece of product, and you get all this other stuff and an extra Switch game, if you want an extra grip, it's probably worth it just for that. I'm so scared pulling this out of the box. I don't want to break it. Because it's literally the thing I bought it for. Really in there tight. Look at that. Do a barrel roll. That is so cool. That is so cool. Honestly, that is incredible. So, once that gets plugged into the grip... I believe like that. Then you get the R-Wing in game. How cool does that look? I think even if you don't use it, you can stand the R-Wing up like that so it's on like a stand as like a model. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, there's another gap. Wait a second. It's getting a break and taking it apart. There's a oh hello. I didn't even know this before I bought it. So I know I've got a statue of Fox McCloud. It looks like this. It's a small little minifigure. It's not the, the most detail you ever see on a minifigure. That's also got like a little chip. So that actually slides into the... I didn't notice till I bought it. Slides into the grip like that and clicks in. So you got Fox in there. Then, when you put your, your R-Wing down, it all clicks together and goes nice. And you can just see, I do not know if you'll be able to see it on camera though, you can just see Fox's head poking through there. That is amazing. That is, honestly, that's incredible. If you're thinking of buying this, if you can get it around the price I paid, which was 10 
it's worth that for the figures, even if that game is awful. Um, so other bits and pieces. We've got some sort of weapon. Don't know where that goes on. It's got the same slot as some of the other stuff. Um, so the weapon just clips on. No, it doesn't. This is the part where everyone tells me, "Oh no, this is uh, this is." I've worked out. This is amazing. So, what you do is you slide Fox in because you don't want to play with the other guy. You want Fox. Then you clip your R wing. Do it on my chest so you can see. Clip that on and go. It makes a little click. Then on the wings. You can attach your guns. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. This is the coolest thing ever made. This in there so tight. And I don't want to break it. So that clips on the other wing. And then you end up with an R wing, which has got all these like badass weapons on. Look at that. Imagine that as a controller. That is the coolest controller ever. So on our wing, you just be like, Shh. man, that's awesome. Then you get this little guy, and to be honest, no one's interested in him at all. So I'm going to go play the game for a bit and see what I think of the actual game, and I will let you all know after this. So I just started playing the game. Controller's all hooked up, you can hear it going on in the background over there. But, the back of it lights up when it's inside the controller. How amazing is that? Unfortunately, that is where the amazement ended. It is such a poor game. It is badly made. It is a stupid control scheme. It's slow paced. There's a lot of unnecessary talking. It bored me so much I couldn't even finish it. I played about four or five hours. That's all I could get through. I could not get past there. I was too bored to carry on with it. So the game is not getting a good review. What we're going to do is we're going to split the outer ten marks into two pieces. One for the R-Wing. And one for this thing. Like I said earlier, I love this thing. The, the controller grip, absolutely love it. It's a quality, quality product. Now, there's a couple of problems with it, which I'm going to run through. Um, one problem is the wings have got these little bits which you attach your weapons onto, which is a cool idea. Yeah, You get to clip your guns in, that's cool. As someone who's just a fan of the Star Fox franchise, though, I want to be able to leave, <laughs> leave it like that which leaves these two annoying black plugs on it. Um, they could have maybe done it in a way where they plug in under the wing, so when you display it like that, top down, it can't be seen or something. But yeah, that's a little drawback. The other drawback is, I don't even know if I'll be able to pick it up on camera. I have to touch the focus. You see the little blue mark there? That is a paint smear. If it didn't have that, it would be perfect as well. But I am going to give this, still, with those problems, a 7 out of 10. It's absolutely quality. For the price it is as well, it's well worth the money. I would pay I would pay the £11 just for this controller grip and the R-Wing. Um, I'm going to use it as a little stand, because it does stand up on the controller grip, just to stand up on my desk. So that is 7 out of 10. This, the actual game is getting just a 4 out of 10, it's awful, it's such a bad game, it's so boring, it's a cool idea but it's got a boring story, it's got stupid boring things where you have to go and collect items, rather than go around killing people, you just drive around collecting items, I want to go and killing stuff, the battle mechanic is stupid as well, like you heal as you drive away, so, so you, you, you don't even have like a finite amount of HP, you drive away a little bit and your HP recharges itself. So you can't really die, it's, it's stupid. Every time you're about to die, you run away, recharge straight away, you go back in, you cannot die. It is too easy and it makes it boring. 
even on hard difficulties, it is easy. I played an hour on the sort of middle difficulty, then I went and turned up a bit, and I still hated it. So yeah, four out of ten. I'm really disappointed. The only reason it's got a four is because it has Fox McLeod in, Falco, Peppy, and Slippy. That's four four marks out of ten. It's getting one mark out of ten for four characters that aren't even owned by Ubisoft or any of that shit. They've licensed it from Nintendo. They're getting their marks from somebody else. Fuck that shit. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.